Some strong reactions from all over the country this week over a newly proposed federal education budget that could cut spending for the funding for the Special Olympics. KCAU 9 reporter Tasia Nevels spoke with Siouxland Special Olympics organizers and has reaction in tonight's top story. Tasia? Yes, Tim. Leaders with the Special Olympics Iowa group say they were in complete shock when they heard about Betsy DeVos's educational budget cuts for 2021. But they also believe that by the bipartisan bipartisan budget, excuse me, bipartisan support will help see them through it. The 2021 education budget includes a proposal that would cut at least $7 billion from many federal educational programs and completely eliminate all $18 million of federal funding for the Special Olympics. That money specifically goes to a program called the Unified Champion Schools that Special Olympics Iowa receives $225,000 um, from that. School funding through this program is, is to help individuals be included. Unified Champion Schools promote social inclusion by bringing together young people with and without intellectual disabilities to play together on sports teams at clubs, schools, and other community initiatives. Individuals with intellectual disabilities are two to three more times more likely to be bullied. So individuals, as they're young and growing up, are learning, you know, everybody's different. We're just going to accept these people in. John Kliegel, president of Special Olympics Iowa, says he doesn't believe the budget will be approved. We have bipartisan support across the nation and specifically in Iowa. But if that support isn't able to stop the budget from being approved, Special Olympics Iowa says it will continue programs throughout Iowa no matter what lawmakers decide. If it doesn't get added back into the budget, which it has the last two years, then it will, it will not stop Unified Champion Schools, but it will slow the growth. It is not going to affect our traditional um, programming at Special Olympics Iowa. We're still going to provide services to all 99 counties. As of right now, the bill, excuse me, the uh, proposal does require approval from Congress. We will monitor this story and update you with any new information. In the newsroom, Tasia Nevels, KCAU 9 News.